Anti Shadow? Labrys? All systems are clear. Commencing elimination. Seems I came too late. She's an older generation model, yet she's this powerful? Artemisia. No way! You can use a persona? Actually, I didn't sense you at all. Who are you? <sighs> well, since you've all become unavoidably involved with this, I'll at least tell you who I am. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. In a way, I'm the one responsible for this commotion. Um, what do you mean you're responsible for this? Do you also know the reasons behind what happened a moment ago? I'm sorry, but there's only so much I'm at liberty to tell you. Though it's only natural for you to have your doubts, I'll try and answer to the best of my ability. I can't believe this. A machine made with a heart so it could use a persona. Well, we did just see it in action. I understand that it's hard to believe, but I'm not lying to you. It's the truth. Of course, I didn't expect a shadow to emerge from her like that. You should leave the rest of this to us. It's all right if you back out now.
I understand what you're saying, but I can't leave Miss President like this. What? Why not? From what you told us, it seems like she was created only to fight. But I can't claim that this has nothing to do with me. The way she talked was just like a normal girl. And I promised her that once we got to the bottom of this, we'd go out and have fun together. I can't break that promise. If she has a heart, that's all the more reason I can't turn my back on her. I'd like to make a request, too. Will you take Yukiko with you? You could Don't worry about us. You need to save Labrys right now. That's right, Yukiko-senpai. You gotta do your best in our place. Hmm. If you're still concerned about Labrys, despite knowing the dangers involved, then I won't stop you. Thank you. But we can't waste any more time. Let's go. Coming! one of those invisible walls. Oh no, does this mean... Ugh, the tournament rules are still in effect, it seems. She plans to make us fight each other. I should have seen this coming. If she's trying to buy time, that means the situation can still get worse. We don't have much time. Let's settle this. Mr. Rasan! Is that as far as you're willing to go? Wasn't there something you wanted to protect? Let me clear up any misunderstanding you may harbor. All responsibilities regarding Labrys devolve to me. I respect her feelings, but I can't allow people's lives to be put at risk. If all else fails, destroying her is also an option. Destroying her?! If your desire to protect her is real, you can prove it by beating me. But if you won't fight, then keep trembling where you are, and I'll settle this very quickly indeed.
fight. Whatever I think, if only one of us can move on, it should be whoever's stronger. <laughs> now that's what I was hoping to hear. Of course, whether or not you can best me is another matter. Well done. You have proven your resolve. Now go after her. I'm confident that you can salvage her heart. Did you let me win on purpose? I object to the question. I don't indulge people in critical situations like this. Okay, then I'm going now. And I'm coming back with Labrys no matter what. That's the spirit. I'm counting on you, Amagi. Lab 
Iris, please wake up! You don't have to fight like that! Don't act like you're a machine! Analyzing voice print. Identity confirmed as Yukiko Amagi. Yukiko Amagi. We made a promise to each other. You just have to be yourself. Yukiko san? This time? Uh, th that's not! First, you, you deceived, deceived her by acting human. human. And, and now that things, things are going your way, way you've, you've decided, decided to be a machine, machine instead? instead? Why, Why don't you, you just, just give it up? up? Just tell everyone how you really feel. You, you want the everyday boys and girls to experience what you have to go through. Right? That's, that's why, why we're in school, having, having a fighting, fighting tournament? tournament? You want to see close friends fight for their lives against each other. Because if they do that, then they might understand. You want to make them understand. No! That wasn't my wish at all! But whatever it was, it doesn't define you. I understand that much at least. Understand? What could you possibly understand? All you've got is some cheap, self-righteous pity. That's not true!
still gonna stand in my way. Fine, I'll crush you along with the real one. Labrys. Why? Why did you save me? You already know I'm a machine. I'm a machine that's supposed to protect people. Because what they did to me was so painful. I took it out on other people too. So why are you? It's okay. You must have suffered so much. I'm sorry. You went through so much pain to protect us. But it's all right now. I won't let those things happen to you anymore. doesn't matter if you're human or not. I'm your friend. We made a promise, remember? You wanna be friends? everything on someone else because I felt so powerless. I was waiting for someone to do my work for me. I wanted to escape from my life, so I dreamed that a prince would take me away. But my friends helped me realize that was just me trying to run from my problems.
The reason I could accept my weakness and fight this to the very end is because I had my friends helping me. I had friends who worried about me, who stood beside me. I wasn't alone. And that gave me unimaginable strength. You're not alone anymore either. I'm sure you'll be able to find a place where you belong too. like I'd just be a nuisance. Huh? What do you mean, a nuisance? Well, you know, I I'm a machine. There'd be all sorts of problems. There would? Are you saying it wouldn't bother you and your friends? Sure are cool about all of this. Jeez, Labrys, you sound more human than a lot of people out there. If I were you, I'd brag about it. You don't think it's cool being a robot and a persona user? <laughs> it's unique, that's for sure. In any case, there's no way you'd be a nuisance. Believe my eyes. 
The Kiwijo group's humanoid weapons actually exist. You're one of the things that got us into this mess, you know. Well, that, that was a... Anyone could have done that. Actually, are you feeling okay? You're not tired or... Oh, what am I saying? Of course you're tired. Huh? No, I'm fine. Um... Isn't there something wrong with this picture? Shouldn't you guys be pissed at me and all? Huh? What would we be mad about? Nah, don't worry about it. We're cool. Pretty much all of us have caused trouble for each other because of our shadows. Yeah, especially Kanji-kun. Me? That's not fair. I never saw your guys' shadows, you know. Naoto's was pretty crazy, at least. Don't drag me into this. I mean, after the epithet given to Kanji-kun, I imagine that his shadow must have been far, far worse than mine. Hell no! Done, Imani. I had every confidence that you could do this. It's nice to meet you all. My name is Igis. Thank you very much for saving my sister. She's kind of a later version of what Labrys was built for. Oh, I'm Akihiko Sonata. Sorry for all the trouble. Don't worry, I'm not planning to seal you away again. But, but, I ran wild and caused so much trouble. I mean, not just today, but back then, too. You've awakened to your persona and gained control over it. You're hardly a rogue test unit anymore. Besides, you have a heart. We would never treat anyone with a heart so poorly. Labrys' recognition signal has been interrupted. 
Someone is hacking into her. It's not over yet. Is this the same communication system we use? What are you standing around for? Everyone, get away from Labrys! It isn't coming from inside this facility. The signal originates elsewhere. You mean outside the TV? This is just a little extra resistance. Now, entertain me. Hey, what are you doing? It's too dangerous. I'll stop her. Isn't this part of protecting her? I need to stop this. Amagi. My, she was quite easily defeated. Evidently, I didn't push her far enough. Well, she is a test unit, so this is as far as my little game goes. enough data after all. I should thank you all. Although this didn't work out, you did stay in until the very end. Labrys's shadow was only the mastermind of the tournament. I see now. You're the true culprit behind the whole thing. Labrys away. 
since I don't have a persona and can't enter a TV, I needed a puppet that could run amok for me. Labrys's persona was only partially awakened, so I had a feeling her shadow would appear if she underwent a little suffering. You got the better of me this time. You deserve to know at least that much. This time? Are you still planning something? That's enough! You're the worst! Labrys has a heart! How can you do this to her knowing that? A heart, hmm? <laughs> Meaningless. Whether or not she has one matters not at all to my plan. What? That's it! Well then, everyone. Until we meet again. It seems whoever our adversary is, they're connected to us. I advise you not to get involved in this matter any further. From here on, you should leave this to us. Wait a second! We can't just leave things like this! I understand how you feel, but this is too dangerous for you. We will do our best to ensure that no harm comes to you. Trust in us and let us work. Guys, let's leave this to them. Huh? Are you serious? Yukiko, it's best for now if we go home. allow me to thank you once again. You did a lot to help today.
We have to see her off properly. Huh? Yeah. You really are going with them. Mm. I'm gonna miss you guys. But I made my decision to throw in with Mitsuru-san. I want to capture whoever's behind this. Whatever it takes. You know how you protected me this time. Now it's my turn to repay the favor. Someday. So, why don't you give me a rain check on that promise? Sound good? <sighs> yeah, that's all right. It's still a promise. I'll be waiting for you, though. If you break my promise, I'll make you rue the day. She's really gone. Yeah, but she said she'd come see us again, so enough with the pitiful frown. What? Did you just call me pitiful? What an incredibly rude thing to say to an idol. Just so you know, I've done a lot of ads for companies under the Carrijo umbrella. <sighs> I wish I could have introduced myself better. Juness, we haven't had our welcome back party for Yukun yet. Great idea, Yuki-chan! I was just thinking the same thing! <laughs> You're right. It's been a while, too, so let's all go there and catch up. Alright, sounds like a plan. We have a few things to talk to them about, too, right, partner? Yeah, let's go, everyone. when you couldn't brought that up. I didn't tell her we wouldn't get involved, was it? <laughs> Can you believe him? <laughs> no kidding. I wonder what Matsuri-san would say if she heard that.
the key Rejo group, huh? If things go bad, this can be an even bigger problem than last year. I'm sure we'll be able to handle it. <laughs> you really stepped up to the plate this time. I think I like this new side of you. should I get? Mm, you're really into this. Hey, how about this? I think it'll look good on you. Oh, no, it's not for me. Oh, right. We might see her sooner than we think. No, she'll love it. I was getting nervous because you were running wild thinking this was all a beautiful dream. Good thing I found you. I missed you so much, you know? Yeah, I didn't miss you. Stupid face in. Oh dear. It looks so like you still don't understand. understand. Understand what? Why you haven't changed one bit. That's, That's why I've come out. out. <laughs> Didn't you realize, you realize that after what everyone said, said to you, people, people haven't, haven't forgotten about my side of you at all? Kanji! Keep it together! You can't let him trick you! Shut up, you goddamn furball! You did what it's been here. Beep! the reason my senpai were acting so weird. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about that. They could have honestly been speaking their minds, you know. No way in hell they'd... <laughs> That's what you want to believe. Once again... Have you lost 
your mind? How, How could you, you hit, hit yourself? yourself? Man, that hurt. But of course it would. It's, it was my fist, after all. I know all too well that I'm weak. Huh? heard me, I'm weak. But I met my senpai and they taught me something. Who cares what your weaknesses are? What's important is how you live with them. It'd be lame for me to repeat the same thing over and over, and I can't cause any more trouble for my senpai. Too. You're really mean, you should already know. Fists never lie. Closed! Uh, what happened last time? I turned into my persona and... Did I not push him far enough? No, I didn't make any mistakes. The power he drew from his bonds was just stronger. Huh? There's something still missing to turn a persona back into a shadow. disappear there's a lot of fishy things about all this well if he's gone at least he can't cause any more problems looks like we did it
anyone, anyone, anyone please, please answer, answer me. me. Kanji, that voice! It's Rise. She's talking through her persona. Hey, can you hear me? And Teddy! Something happened, right? Where are you now? I I'm in the announcement room. Rise! Rise! Answer me, damn it! The announcement room! The president was headed too! That place was dangerous after all! Wait for me! Don't leave me behind! No time to waste! I'm going on ahead! Here goes! Kanji! You're late, you moron! Quit whining! Hurry up and come over here! Student Council President, right? You don't look so good. You okay? I... I... It's not true. He keeps saying weird things. Another, another nuisance. nuisance. I've, I've had, had enough, enough of this, this you know that? Shadow? Not mine? Where'd you get that idea? Oh, sheesh. Listen, that fake Teddy's the bad guy here, so all you have to do is beat him up. All right, that's easy enough to understand.
a shadow. The true self. Man, you look like you're ready for battle. like it's on me to protect everyone this time. <laughs> Bring it! Con 
Luigi, are you gonna be okay? You don't have any backup! Damn straight I'll be okay. Just stay quiet and support me like usual. I'll save you no matter what.